Hello students, in this video class, we are going to discuss about forms in HTML. Okay, forms in HTML. Listen, forms are used to accept input from the user. Forms are used to accept input from the user accept input from the users okay input means any kind of information okay any information from the user second point forms allow the reader to send information forms allow the users to send information to send information back to the server back to the server okay now what is a server the main computer which has a huge storage capacity the main computer which is connected with all the other computers okay in an internet clear so that is called as a server server is the main computer which is connected over a network and its capacity is high the storage capacity okay the processing capacity of that computer is high which computer the computer which is called a server the main computer on a network clear so forms allow the users to send information back to the server then forms are used commercially for accepting orders from customers. Forms are used commercially for accepting orders from customers from customers or for taking feedback or for taking feedbacks okay clear a form includes a form includes check boxes radio buttons lists etc okay now listen yes how to create forms question arises how to create forms using HTML yeah, in HTML how to create forms in HTML listen we have to use for this we have to use the form tag for this we have to use the form tag okay so all the things will be written under the form tag so HTML okay close this tag html then comes your head tag yes or no close the head tag then comes your title so this is the basic structure right and then some title close the title tag then comes your body tag okay and close the body tag close the body tag. now within the body tag we have to use form tag we have to use form tag in order to create forms oh sorry close the form tag. yes close the form tag 
So within the HTML tags, all the tags are available. This is the head tag. Within the head tag, we have title. Then within the body tag, we have all sort of things which we want to appear on the web page. Okay. Now within the body, we need a form. So that will be done by the help of form tag. And we will be using all sort of other elements or tags under the form tag. Clear? Clear or not? Now listen. Now input elements. Input elements. The input elements are your text box. Okay, which looks like this. This is your text box where you can insert numbers or text. Okay, where we can insert numbers or texts. Numbers or any text. Clear? Then we have checkbox. Checkbox. It looks like this. And some options will be there. For example, um, subjects. Let us take subjects. Physics, chemistry, maths, okay, biology, computer. So one can select this. Suppose if a student wants to take physics, he will check this box and chemistry, mathematics, and then he wants to take computer. So he will check this box. Clear physics, chemistry, mathematics, computer. Clear now. So at a time, you can select multiple options using a checkbox. If it is a checkbox, okay, if you have checkboxes, then you can select multiple options. Always remember. Then comes your radio button. Yes, radio button. A radio button. It looks like this. Suppose biology. No, not biology, economics. And computer. Okay, economics and computer. So you cannot take both. You cannot take both computer and economics altogether. Either you can take economics or you can take computer. Suppose if you select computer and then if you select economics, computer will be deselected. If you select computer, economics will be deselected. So in case of radio buttons, only one options, only one option can be chosen. Clear? We can select only one option if it is the case of radio buttons. But in case of checkbox, multiple options can be selected. Multiple options can be selected. Clear? Clear or not? Then password box is also there. Password box. Okay. Where you can enter the password and it will appear like asterisk. Clear or not? So this is password box. So these are the input elements. Text box, check box, radio buttons, password box. Okay. And then there are some other elements also. For example, your text area okay text area where you will be able to create a large space where the user can enter the paragraphs or some lines clear this is the text area and then comes your drop down list drop down list do you know what drop down list is suppose for example if here it is written biology and here one drop down button is there if uh, if anybody selects here or clicks here okay he will get multiple options he will get multiple options this is called as drop down here he will get physics okay physics chemistry computer etc so this is the drop down so all these things we can create within a form 
we can create text box we can create check box we can create radio button we can create password box we can create text area we can create a drop down yes in drop down also you can select any one option if you are selecting biology it means physics chemistry and computer cannot be selected at a time you can select any one so we can say the radio button and the drop down button both are same but in case of check box we can select multiple options we can select multiple options clear now listen Yes. Note input tag. There is a tag called as input tag is used to create form elements. Is used to create form elements. Okay. And the attributes of input tag are attributes of input tag what are the attributes of input tag we will discuss now the first one is your type okay then the second one is your name then third one is your value Then the fourth one is your size, and the fifth one is your max length. Max length. So I will give you the examples of these. Don't worry. Now let us discuss about type. It specifies the type of input elements to be added in a form. It specifies. the type of input elements the type of input elements to be added to be added in a form to be added in a form and note text is the default type text is the default okay text is the default type the name i will discuss with example don't worry the name the name attribute specifies it specifies a unique name unique means different unique name given to each input element given to each input element given to each input element value the value attribute specifies the initial values to be assigned it specifies the initial values to be assigned initial values to be assigned okay initial values to be assigned hmm. then size it specifies the width of the input element it specifies the width of the input element width of the input element then max length it is specifies the maximum number of characters it specifies the maximum number of characters the maximum number of characters that can be entered that can be entered in an input field
in an input field. Okay. Now let me give you the example. Listen. Yes. Open Notepad. Listen. So first of all, let me give HTML tag, then close the HTML tag. Okay. Then within the HTML tag, let me give the head tag, close the head tag. Okay. Then within the head tag, we have title tag. Okay. Close the title tag. Yes. Within the title tag, let me write FOR forms in HTML. Okay. So this is the title of our web page. Then let me use the body tag. Body. Close the body tag. Now within the body tag, we have to use the for tag. Okay, F O I for. Okay, let me keep the body background color B G color. C O L O R B G color is equal to pink. P I N K pink. It will look good, huh? Okay, so for now. Here we will write first name, okay, then S E C O N D, second name, and then last name. So, no, it, it's not second, middle name, huh? middle name will be fine. First name, M I D L, middle name, and then last name, first name, middle name, last name. Okay, first name, middle name, last name. Now let me check file, save as uh, form, form, form dot html, form dot html. Now listen. Where is it? Yes. Let me double click over it and see. You can see the background is pink in color. And we have first name, middle name and last name. But just after first name, I want one text box. Okay, let me draw it for you. Listen. I want it to appear like this. Listen. I want to make it appear like this. How? First name, then one text box should be there. Clear. Then middle name, then another text box, then last name, and one text box. Now, how to do this? For this, I will be using the input tag. I will be using the input tag. Listen. So, first name, then input input tag. Now the attribute which I will use is type, type is equal to value, type is equal to text because the data will be of text type, yes or no. Then name, you can give any name, but I will give some meaningful name. Suppose FIRST first, okay, and then size, size is equal to, let me give the value 15. Oh, yes, 15. Let me give the value 15. Okay. Then max length. Max, L-E-N-G-T-H. Max length is equal to how many characters? Suppose 15 characters. Okay. And then initial value. Initial value will be nothing. Nothing means empty string. If there is nothing between the double quotes, it means empty string. Okay. Now let me copy this from here to here. Uh, select it, control C copy and let me paste it here, paste it here and paste it here, control S or you can click on file and save button 
and then um, where is that form this one no? yes double click over it now you can see first name middle name and last name but what is my demand my demand is to uh, bring the first name this part in the first line then middle name in the second line and then last name in the third line for that purpose i will use the br tag okay the br tag will be used to bring this part to the second line and this part to the third line now how to do this listen uh, where is that where is that yes right click over it open with notepad yes here i will use the break tag okay which tag br tag here also i will use the br tag and here also i will use the br tag control s or you can click on file menu and save option close it double click over it yes is this clear clear na now i need some space between these consecutive lines after first name this part there should be at least some space okay it is not looking good now how to do this very simple right click over it open with notepad maximize it let me use some other br tags mm -hmm. br okay and again one more br tag and here mm, br and one more br br okay let me copy this and paste it here okay now let me see file save close double click over it now you can see there is some space in between these three lines first name middle name and last name here i can type ritvik dubey middle name i can no no in first name i will type ritvik okay in second part i will write kumar i am not kumar but let me give you one example then tab d u b e y dubey clear or not clear so ritvik kumar dubey so this is a form where it is accepting the first name of the user middle name of the user and last name of the user clear now what if i put number here suppose roll number right click over it open with notepad let me write here roll number okay uh, let me copy this part from here to here yes copy it and then paste it here let me write here roll number okay r o l l roll number roll number input type is equal to text not type is equal to number n u m b e r and name is equal to you can give any name okay you can give any name let me change the names here let me write middle m i d d l e middle and let me write here last okay let me write here last and let me write here roll number r o l l n o roll number clear file save or let me check uh double click over it roll number you can can you see this is spinner this is called a spinner a spinner what if i click here i will get one if i click on the upward arrow i will get 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 it will keep increasing and if i click on the downward arrow it will decrease okay it is decreasing now here i can write any number 458 okay 458 now let me try to input my name real quick see i am typing now r hmm? we cannot type text we cannot type text here if the value of the type attribute is number if value of the type attribute is number this in this one listen in this one here the type was text here also the type was text here also the type was text but here the type is number so we are getting that spinner button okay so we can enter only numeric values in this case now listen yes hmm. 
listen so in the web page this is the web page okay this is the web page assume this is the web page so because i have written first name here it is appearing first name okay then input type is equal to text so we are getting a box like structure name is equal to first you can give any 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 name name is equal to first name is equal to middle name is equal to last name is equal to roll number okay now what is the meaning of size is equal to 15 it decides the width of that box okay this is the width this is the width of the box which is decided by the size attribute now max length means maximum number of characters that we can enter is 15 maximum number of characters okay maximum number of characters which we can enter clear then value is equal to empty string means nothing is there okay nothing is there now let me show it to you if i write here size is equal to 100 okay let me write size is equal to 100 file save close it double click over it now you can see see the size so the size attribute is used to specify the width of the box clear and max length this one right click open width notepad see max length max length is equal to 15 means you cannot enter greater than 15 or more than 15 characters let me try okay let me try yes here let me write here g g g 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 after this i'm entering okay i'm pressing the key but it is not accepting it is not accepting okay so this attribute which attribute max length attribute is specifies the total number of characters that can be entered by the user clear so this was all about the input tag and the attributes type is the attribute okay the first attribute is type attribute then name attribute then size attribute then max length attribute and then value attribute clear is this clear so in the other in the other video we will discuss about how to add a text box check box okay radio buttons and all no, text box we have completed today in other video class we will discuss about how to add check box radio buttons etc clear so thank you so much for watching this video bye bye take care